Hello and welcome to Pedal Boards of Doom with Oh My Gosh It's Josh. Today we have the brand new Core OS 2.0 update. So I'm going to be running you through some of these brand new features. First is the integration of hybrid mode where you can blend scenes, the presets and the stomp modes all together. We've got a whole brand new UI interface. Also now triple the capacity of what you can hold on this. I think you can have up to 3000 captures. You can have up to 12 banks of presets. We've got the ability to add a EQ for any effects. We've also got three brand new amps. The Mesa Boogie Mark II C Plus John Petrucci model. We've got 800 new neural captures. We've also got gain reduction meters added to compressors. The IR loader is also a great new feature. Now you've actually got the ability to tweak them. So enough talking, let's have a look. The biggest change that we have now is to the UI interface. Before you had it all panned out on the side, it was very bulked up and a bit difficult to kind of make your way around for everything. So now as you can see, my presets can now change from banks. You can change these by a preferred instrument. We can sort by a specific author so we can see my own presets. The main thing that I quite like is now being able to sort by name. You've got a very quick scroll through ability here but it remembers your banks. It's like, I just want to jump to, so we'll, we'll go to B standard and click tick. It still actually all remembers the bank that it's in. So none of your banks uh, end up getting reshuffled or reorganized, which I think is quite nice. We now have the ability to search for a preset. So if I want, as you can see, I've already searched for some victory ones. If you've got the little symbols here, as you can see, that means it's like a scene and a preset. We've got a capture icon here. But So if I click for victory V40, click on that, and boom, we have our victory V40. The integration of hybrid mode. So as you see here, I've currently got this up in C mode. So we can see we've got a Victory V4 and a click for So if you want to go to into hybrid mode, tap three buttons on the right, and I'm going to go to mode configuration. Now this is where you can blend any of the three modes together. So you can have preset and scene mode, like so. So then you will have the scenes on the top, but if you want to change a preset, you can do on the bottom. And you can, if you want to have individual stumps, we can do, just disengage that. And I'm going to go to scene and preset mode. So I flick up now, we've got a different interface. We can see I've got Victory, Metallica, Heavy Devi, and Acoustic Stim. So those are the presets that I can switch between. So I can just go to my Acoustic Stim, my Devin Townsend setup, Metallica, Victory, for example. So I can play through the Victory Clean. I want to go now to Metallica. And I can still now swap between scene mode we've got the bottom four presets so obviously say if you wanted to use a top four you would just then need to switch them like this I'm in chorus mode at the moment but maybe I want to add the compressor or 
a clump. <laughs> to show you another one of the new additions and that is we've now got a gain reduction meter on compressors. We have 800 new captures. Two things that I'm really looking forward to on this, the game changer plasma drive pedal and the Thunder Pull, which is based off the Mr. Black Thunder Claw, a fuzzy kind of distortion. <laughs> Plasma drive. We have now been given the 2C John's 2C. So Mesa Boogie 2C plus Petrucci style amplifier. The uh, 2C channel 1, so it's going to be your clean sort of sound. So this is going to be more of a crunch. We've now got the option for a gain pull and shred mode as well as a presence pull. So we are now in channel 3 mode. That has got a lot of gain on tap. A hell of a lot of gain. So I'm going to talk about the new Cab IR editor. I'm going to put in the brand new IR loader. So as you can see, we've got a dual and a single, both with mono and stereo. So we'll go with the single first in stereo. You can pick your IR and then we've got a high pass, low pass on here as well. So we can just bring some of that in there, just do that. As you can see scrolling through here, we've been given a lot more British style. We've got 25.5, which would be Silver Jubilee more of the 2C amps. We've now got the option to add a global EQ. Say if you've got a guitar that's particularly dark, you can come in here, you can have a fiddle around with the parametric EQ and that will apply that to all of the options. So I've been really happy with this update. 
moving around through the interface has made it so much easier now I've been able to search and look through and put things in alphabetical order that's really useful for me um, I've always preferred to have something in alphabetical order because then you just know straight where you're going and the fact that it hasn't messed with any of the banks well is also a great bonus really happy with the IR loader the Thunderpore did not disappoint uh, that's going to be going straight onto one of my main presets having the game changer plasma drive on there as well is also an extra good bonus all in all i'm really happy with how this update has turned out a little bit disappointed that we didn't have the monosynth and the integration of plugins but i'm sure they will be coming at another point in the future my name has been oh my gosh it's josh make sure you like you share you subscribe have a look at some of the other quad cortex videos that i've done up here and until the next time we will see you guys in another video very soon